Hello everyone, we are back here with the problem of the day. The problem that we have today is maximum sum subarray of size k. Let's read the problem. Given an array of integers, ARR, of size n and a number k, return the maximum sum of a subarray of size k. And a note is given, a subarray is a contiguous part of any given array. All right. Now, what are we receiving here? Okay, the task is, uh, we don't have to read or print anything the task is to complete this function we are getting integer k arr the array and uh, n which is the size of the array okay fine the expected time complexity is o n and the space is o1 uh, let's see the test cases and try to understand the problem in a better way so here is the first sample test case as you can see n is 4 k is 2 and this array of four size is given now what do we have to do we have to take the sub arrays of size Two, we have to find the sum of it and we have to return the maximum sum that we can obtain. So if you talk about this array and we know that the size is 2, the first sub array could be this, correct? 100 and 200. The sum of this will be 300. Then the next sub array could be 200 and 300, correct? The sum of this sub array is going to be 500. Eventually there will be one more sub array of two size which is 300 and 400. Sum will be 700. What is greatest of them all? 700, right? Thus, 700 is the answer. Simple. Now, you might uh, see one thing in both of the test cases that the array is sorted, but it is nowhere mentioned in our question that the array will be sorted. So, it is just a coincidence. We don't have to consider that as a particular parameter. Now, let's talk about this uh, sample test case. This time, what you are given is you are given the size as uh, 4. That means we have to take the chunk of array which is of size 4. Now the whole array is actually of size 4 only. That means we have we can make total of all and all will be summing up to 1000. That will be the answer. Correct? So actually if we just even think of, uh, think of the brute force approach, the very basic approach of this question, that can lend us the answer. Right? Which is finding all the substrings and then finding out the and then uh, keeping the maximum one let's try to think of that in a better way okay i've taken this array now and uh, let's say we have k equals three that means we have to take sub arrays of size three what i can do is first of all i have to check this right i have to check the first chunk so i'll just maintain a sum of these first three i'll say i have my sum and it is actually 3 plus 5 plus 2 that will be your 10 okay i have my sum 10 this is my current sum and i will also maintain one variable max sum this will be keeping the track of the maximum value that we have seen so far so far we only have seen 10 that means uh, 10 is our maximum till here now what we have to do we have to keep on looking for uh, you know like further on sub arrays and we need to find out the sum of it now if we go on like taking every sub array and then uh, finding out the sum of every sub array uh, separately, it is going to take more time. But rather what we can do is we can just think of it as a window, right? Think of it as a window, window of k size. Here it is three. So once we are going to, you know, move this window ahead, what will happen? This window will now be here from 5 till 7 let me write down the indices like this right so initially my window was beginning from 0 and it was ending at 2 now i have to shift it one step ahead it will be beginning from 1 and ending at 3 now what has happened the sum of the previous window was 10 correct now the next window the shift that i have made is uh, including 7 and excluding 3. So whatsoever was my current sum, what I'll do is from my current sum, I will add up the new element, I'll add up ARR 3 and I will subtract this value ARR 0. Correct? Now when we are going to do this again, we are going to move it here. Well, if we let me just calculate this as well. It was 10 already. We added 7. It became 17. We subtracted 3. It became 14. 
सो आर करंट सम आफ्टर दिस इज फोर्टीन मैक्सिमम विल बी अपडेटेड टू फोर्टीन एज वेल करेक्ट नाउ अगेन विंडो विल मूव है Now we have two seven and one. That means we were having fourteen. I included one. It became fifteen. We excluded five. It became ten again. Now again the sum will be ten. Max won't be updated. Correct. Now what do we have to do? Simply, we need to perform this till the end of the array, right? Till we reach the eighth element here. Now one thing that you have to keep in mind is we have to generate a formula for this. A little formula. We were assume we were having i i as a variable which was helping us traverse this array. So if I am including the next element as a r r i, what do I have to minus? I have to minus a r r i minus kth element because k is three. So when my i let's say when my i is four, that means I'm including four. What do I have to subtract? A r r four will be included. Here are four minus three. That will uh, that means one. One will be excluded, right? So this will be the formula. We will keep on doing that, and we will keep on maintaining a current sum, and we will track the maximum one from the iteration. Eventually, we are going to return the maximum sum. Okay. So here is the code for the same. Just we have discussed. I'll first create my result, or you can say maximum. it will be keeping the track of maximum i have just calculated the first chunk that means this was my whole array i calculated the first k window it is stored in the result and currently because we do not uh, have anything else we are going to consider that uh, as a current sum and the maximum both then we are going to iterate through the array what we are going to do we are going to begin from k k is this element right it is beginning from 0 k is this the size of the sub array is from 0 to k minus 1 we are going to begin from k we'll go till n we are going to begin from here we'll go till n actually n minus 1 if we are using range of python right we are doing the same thing every time we are increasing our i i am including that element and i'm subtracting the previous element i'll take one step i'll include one more element and i'll Disclude one element uh, from the previous, right? We have understood that. Then I'm just keeping the track of maximum in the result. Eventually, I'm returning the result, right? Quite simple. Now the complexity it might take is obviously O n. We are just traversing the array for one time and we are not performing any other operation. So just uh, let's try to run this code against all the test cases. Okay. So here is the code. Let's compile it. All right, it is getting compiled. It is giving us the giving us the right answer. Trying to submit that. Okay, okay. So it has passed all the test cases. Uh, so the problem was quite simple, and I hope that you have understood it well. Uh, do comment down below if you like the approach and share the video with your friends. Thanks. Keep coding.